I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponents. Here we have 10 questions to give you a quick review on evaluating exponents. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then match with my solutions. Question number one is express minus 1 over 125 as a power of minus 5. It is important that you have to write this as a power of minus 5. Now since 1 over 25 is in the denominator, we could write minus of 1 over 125 as equal to, we have to write as a power of minus 5. So minus 5 to the power of what? 5 cube is 125. Now we could do minus 3, right? So minus will make it 1 over 125 and odd power will be negative. So that is the right answer. The next one here is to evaluate minus 3 to the power of 0. Now it is anything to the power of 0 is 1, right? So we have minus 3 to the power of 0. So first if you evaluate 3 to the power of 0, you get 1, right? And since 1 is outside, the answer has to be minus 1. Is that clear to you? The next one here is minus, minus 3 cube. So there is minus outside, and then we have minus 3 cube. That is the question. Cube of 3 is 27, and negative is an odd power, will be negative. So it is minus of minus 27. And when you open the bracket, minus and minus becomes positive. So it becomes 27. Is that clear? The next question here is to evaluate minus 2 to the power of 4. So when we have minus 2 to the power of 4, it is only 2 which is to the power of 4, not this negative. So the negative remains and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So we get minus 16 as our answer. Here we have 64 to the power of 2 over 3. Now, that basically means you have to find the cube root first and then square it, right? So, you could think like this. 64 cube root, right? You could think about 64 cube root and then you square it. Now, cube root of 64 is 4. So, we get 4 square here. That gives you 16 as your answer. Evaluate 7 to the power of minus 2. So we have 7 to the power of minus 2. Minus makes it 1 over 7 and squared. So it is 1 over 49. Evaluate cube root of 8 squared. This is very similar to what we just did. So cube root of 8 and then we could square it, right? So cube root of 8 is 2. So we get 2 squared, so the answer is 4. Then we have to evaluate 1024 to the power of 0 0.2. Now 0 0.2 is a decimal number. It is good practice to write this as a fraction, right? So, so we could write this as 1024 to the power of 2 over 10, right? So 2 over 10 is 0 0.2. Now, 1024 is a very important number, and you should remember, it is 2 to the power of 10, right? So, we have 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2 over 10. So, I purposely did not write this 1 over 5 so that I can cancel directly these 10s, right? So, we are left with 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4, right? So, that is how we could do it. Now, here's a very interesting thing which you observe. In a multiple choice question, I could give you these two options. Are they equivalent or not? Do you see that? So cube root 8 square is same as 10 to the power 24 to the power of 0.2, right? So that is how we make multiple choice questions. Question number 9 here is to evaluate minus 32 to the power of 2 over 5. Now, if I do fifth root, let's rewrite this. So it is minus 32 to the power of, let's do, uh, okay, uh, see, since it is square, finally we are going to get positive answer, right? Remember that. Let me just rewrite the question. Now, 32 is 2 to the power of 5, so we'll write 2 to the power of 5 
to the power of 2 over 5 correct so this 5 and 5 cancels so we get minus 2 to the power of 2 which is also 4 perfect so so we get the same answer which we got last time however it's a different question altogether question number 10 the last question here is 10 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of 4 now see this 10 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of 4 well 10 can be written as 2 times 5 correct so 2 times 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of 4 now that means 2 to the power of 5 times 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of 4 now these cancel correct so we are left with 2 to the power of 5 times 5 now 2 to the power of 5 is 32 so we have 32 times 5 right so we could multiply this with 5 let me write like this and get our answer 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 3 is 15 and 116 so 160 is your answer for question number 10 so I hope with this you get a good overview of what normally you need to evaluate concerning exponents this is a very quick exercise and once you look at these solutions now you will understand all the concepts which you should know while moving forward hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be excellent thanks for your time and all the best